Despite for the missing bells and whistles, I can tell you that this is the BAM box for November 2018. I hope... Yes, I guess perhaps in this instance, BAM Box was maybe waiting to get some more BAM boxes delivered to their company and ultimately had sent out the, uh, the outstanding the boxes to their subscribers inside this brown box instead. And that's okay, because inside, despite for the outside looking rather bland, inside what you'll find is signatures, collectibles, and replicas from movies and television. You can't really beat that. So despite for the fact it is only a brown box, and only a brown box is what we're gonna be cutting open with the help of Old Red. Let's cut the one side. Let's cut the other side. And I don't really know what's happened to me lately. The last few weeks or so, as you probably have noticed in reviews, I keep nicking myself on stuff. Stuff that normally, as an adult, I'm smart enough not to cut myself on. Yet, box flaps, knives, I think I was even slicing a, a, lo a loaf of bread, and I nicked my thumb. I'm better than this, I, I say to myself. I'm better than this, I say aloud. And somebody in the side room says, "What? sorry, what did you say? Nothing. Nothing, I reply back, but I'm better than this. I don't know why I'm nicking myself so much. It usually is the case also with the holiday season, just by gift shopping, scurrying around like little gophers trying to get quick gift, last gift ideas. Maybe through the process of that, a lot of people are nicking themselves more on like tape dispensers, scissors, ribbon. I don't know how you, I don't know how you cut yourself on ribbon, but let's just say I've had better days. What is going on here we've got ourselves an autograph astoundingly from nightmare on elm street part three the dream warriors one of my all-time favorite nightmare on elm streets my favorite being part four personally uh this is an autograph print it says from taryn well that's the actress i think oh okay this eight by ten bam horror box which now we know what the box is uh, was has been hand signed by Jennifer Rubin, who played Taryn in Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Warriors. That doesn't even look like her, actually. It was signed during a private signing with Bam Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. Huzzah! I say to myself, and I'm better than this is also what I'm saying to myself. But I'm not going to dwell too much in the fact that I've got these little nicks all over my hand. The life of being an adult, all these responsibilities, cutting yourself with boxes, I guess, being one of them. Speaking of favorite things, this box must have been catered right for me. This is a box uh, containing not only one signature, but two signatures of another favorite movie of mine. This is Labyrinth. And there's Jareth the Goblin King, signed by Chris Fulton. And the back says this BAM box, the BAM pop culture box, fan art collection, art print, Labyrinth has been hand signed by artist Chris Oz Fulton for the BAM box and is guaranteed to be authentic. That is a neat looking print. You can see all the goblins all around them. Nice, I like that. Two really cool art prints. We also got inside, uh, what is this? It looks like Spider-Man. But I don't know if that actually goes with, for example, the horror print. Maybe it's a little bit of country. It's a little bit of rock and roll sandwiched together. And we've got ourselves two combinations, two BAM boxes that they probably have put together uh, for maybe November. This is a little Spider-Man mask. Uh, can you see through it? I'm not going to put it on. You can see through it. There's my fingers right there. That's a nice little mask, just a little small Spider-Man mask. Put that right over there. We've got ourselves some tissue paper. I don't think there's anything in there, so I'm gonna remove that one. And I don't think there's anything in this one. No, nope. no, nope, nothing in there. And I don't think there's anything in there, so we can move those to the side. Also got inside a card, Ace Ventura Pet Detective, to serve and protect your pets. It is the little business card that you would have had in the uh, in the movie. It is made of plastic. Not that this is an indication to you that it's plastic. Nice little replica card. Uh, we also got ourselves a pin. Bam Pop Culture Limited Edition Enamel Pin. 
Here's the back of it. Hocus Pocus designed by Create or Destroy. Also got ourselves a couple of cards inside. Two one-up congratulations. I'm not really sure what is one-upping here. They're both green cards. And then we've got ourselves like a little letterhead here. So let's see what we got inside. Okay. So this is BAM Pop Culture October. Boy, we are a little behind. October for 2018, we had the BAM signing from Jennifer Rubin Taron from Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors. Oh, this must have been the upgraded here. Which actually, of the three, I like the fact that I got the movie poster signing instead. This one was limited to 99. Then there was also the BAM Box exclusive Labyrinth fan art collection. Oh, and... Okay, so this one here with the green background is the limited to 500. The one with the purple background is not the limited one. Now, I got the one with the purple, so that is probably likely the standard release. And then the green release is the upgraded one. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got the Spider-Man or Rorschach masks, an Ace Ventura business card. Now, there's three different cards, but... That was a close one, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, in every contest, there must be a loser. Lou Who Zahur, from one of the most quotable movies of all time, comes one of the most recognizable business cards. I guess there is no variations. There's no difference between the three. They just happen to show three of them. Then we got a Bambox exclusive Hocus Pocus fan art print by artist COD, Create or Destroy. Or is it Create and Destroy? Let's have a look. I just want to double check so I'm not quoting. It's Create or Destroy. This one here was limited to 250. This one was limited to 99. I got the one by Bette Midler. Uh, I don't see, though. I'm just looking here. I'm looking in the box. I don't see what else was upgraded here. I see one upgrade, not unless they accidentally put two of these inside the box. Um, needless to say, though, this was the BAM for 2018, October, October 2018. Um, I guess with uh, the holiday season, they're just trying to get all their boxes together, so November should still hopefully be on its way. And when it does, we're going to get it opened up on this channel. Today, though, we were having a look at the BAM Pop Culture box for October 2018. I gotta say, my favorite thing was this, the art print, the signing poster by Jennifer Rubin. Let me know what your favorite thing was inside this box. And if you'd like to subscribe to The Bam Box, it's as simple as going to www.thebambox.com. So it's not quite horror, and it's not quite original. I guess it's a combination of both. This was The Bam Pop Culture Box, once again for October 2018. Speaking of subscribing, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe yet to this channel, what are you waiting for? More videos are definitely going to be coming your way, of, of course, with the holiday season being as it is. I've got a whole ton of Christmas videos coming to this channel. I know a couple of people have been asking, are you going to be doing some Christmas-related videos? The answer is an astounding yes. Yes, I will be. So stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.